Kicking off the month of May with not so pleasant weather outside. We would expect by this point in the season things to be really warming up. But today we are looking at quite the setback with temperatures that feel more like late February, honestly, across the area. We've got this upper level low pressure. It's very deep, very anomalous for this time of the year. And that is providing the cloudy, showery weather. You can see the showers just pinwheeling around this area of low pressure. And you even notice some snow where parts of Lake Michigan, Wisconsin, the UP of Michigan is going to see plenty of snow out of the system. Mainly just a cold rain here as we zoom in. You can see the entire area is seeing at least some very light rain falling. It's not overly heavy, but it just adds to the misery with the cold temperatures that are in place and with the winds that are whipping around as well. We look at temperatures right now sitting at 39 in Lima and Bluffton, 40 in Finley. We look at the winds. They are quite breezy. These are sustained winds coming in around 20 miles an hour, and we're seeing gusts 30 to 40 miles per hour right now. And those winds will not be subsiding any time over the next 24 hours. So we're just in a very windy, wet, cold period of weather here. It's going to take some time to get this out of here. This afternoon, don't expect any changes here. The rain continues. We might see a couple breaks in there around 5 or 6 p.m., but it's wet, it's windy, it's cold. That's not changing in this forecast the rest of the day today. So our high temperature so far earlier this morning was 42, and I don't think we'll get any higher than 42 today. And when we look back at the records for May 1st, this would be the coldest high temperature we have ever recorded on this date for our area. So definitely some history in the making today with unusually chilly conditions. Again, all thanks to that upper level low that's just sitting over the Great Lakes. It's just continuing to impact our weather. Again, I said there could be a few breaks in the rain by 5, 6 p.m., but it's still a scattered sprinkles at that point. As we go through the evening and overnight, another band of rain is going to pinwheel in. And we notice some of us towards, uh, let's say, Mansfield, Cleveland, Toledo, there is the possibility for some snow to mix in, even down into areas like Lima, as far south as our area. We could see a few flakes of snow in the mix overnight tonight. And we start tomorrow here for the of course the primary election it is going to be very very chilly out in the morning with scattered showers a few flakes of snow in the mix as well and tomorrow we're not going to see as much rain as today but it's still going to be windy it's still going to be chilly out there with more of these scattered light showers throughout today the and then we'll see some drier air begin to build in by wednesday we are looking at drier conditions but still a lot of clouds and still on the chilly and breezy side. Once we get past Wednesday, that is a turning point in this forecast as we'll enjoy some warmer temperatures and brighter skies. So looking forward to that. But in the meantime, just brace for a forecast that does not look like spring the next 24 hours. Tonight we'll see a low of 38 degrees. So the temperatures are fairly steady the next 24 hours because we have the clouds, the wind, and that precipitation moving through. Showers continue tonight, and there could be a few snowflakes. That is indeed a possibility. I would say especially north and northeast is where the chance will be a little bit greater for that. And then for tomorrow, scattered showers will continue. The winds are continuing to stay gusty as well. We'll see wind gusts from this afternoon through tomorrow, gusting at or even over 40 miles per hour at times. Tomorrow's high, not much better at 44. We look at the 7-day forecast. Wednesday, it's still mainly cloudy. Temperatures a little better at 55. And then here's the turning point in the forecast. Thursday, 61, partly cloudy. Look at Friday, just a beautiful end to the week. 66, partly cloudy, so looking a lot better. And it just gets even better by the weekend. Temperatures pushing the 70s once we get into Sunday.